Nice way to finish the For All We Know tour. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was, yeah, amazing. So, I mean, we, we've done a few shows with um, the Ben Howard crew. Um, so, yeah, it was really nice to come and see those guys again. And, um, yeah, as you said, it's been very different to what we've been doing for the last month. So, um, yeah, it's nice to just kind of mix things up, isn't it? We've yeah. Got, you know, plenty of a massive crowd that sold out crowd, which is always, yeah. always amazing. And we, we're great to play tonight well. as well. So, yeah. All, all good things have come out tonight, mm. and um, it's really good to be back down the southwest as well. Always. So yeah. So. <laughs> Even if it's only for one night, but. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Are you sticking around, or are you going heading back to London after this? Uh, we're going back to London tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. We've got to make sure we make it count. Yeah. Not, yeah. You know, you don't drive 230 miles just to go back again the same night. No. no. Without hangover. <laughs> no. So yeah, we um, we we just found out that we got a free bar. So. Definitely make the most of that. Well, you've got to. It? Yeah, it'd be rude not to. <laughs> it would be. Well, you know, it's a, you know, officially our last gig of the tour now mm. because yesterday was meant to be, and then we had this one come up, and was up, but you go do that, and then then it's completely done. <laughs> Sorry. So I, I say I say to James just a bit ago that it, it's a shame that not shame, but it, it's weird that you guys have been kind of crammed onto. Uh, various stages around the UK on your tour and then you have that huge stage and just the two of you. Yeah. It must have felt a bit weird. Yeah, we couldn't even see each other. Yeah, it was mental, <laughs> wasn't it? Mm. Okay. But yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it's weird, but I mean, it's, you know, actually it's just nice to see different, it's quite refreshing. Mm. It's, you know, it's, it, it was a bit like, on, you know, by the seat of your pants kind of gig because we don't normally do stuff like that um, these days that much. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Just, um, it's kind of just expecting the size base to be around my face or something like that. But <laughs> yeah. I just was just on your feet. Yeah. <laughs> Symbol taking out a bit of your head. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's, it's nice and it's also like even even though we were far away from each other, it's just nice you know, to have a bit of luxury. I mean, you two monsters each, loads of room. I mean, not that we really need it when you sit on the stool, but yeah, it's kind of. It's nice to sort of go like, oh, this is maybe what we can look forward to, rather than being like, oh. yeah. <laughs> even though we really enjoy that. But yeah, it's good. Yeah. Thank you.
Um, so, what, what's coming up for you guys? I know you've got a gig in December, haven't you? Yeah, and then uh, February dates have just been announced as well. Yeah, February dates just been announced. We're still like some just eight, nine shows and like that. Um, but yeah, we're just sort of working on the album really. That's kind of the plan for the foreseeable future. A few few gigs in and around you know, the next couple of months. So what what's the plans for the album then? You got a kind of desired release date? In uh, not really. I mean, to be honest, we're we're um, still doing a lot of a lot of the kind of the graft and hard work. Um, you know, with within our means kind of thing. So we're just doing as much as, as far as getting things as far as we can take that, and then um, looking for the <laughs> looking for the, for the right way of, uh, of putting the, putting the record out. And but we're just making sure it's going to be right when we go into the studio. But you know, we're still looking for the right producers. Like mm -hmm. We well, do you think it, the recording process will follow the same way you've done it before? Would you like to? Well, we've recorded two, yeah. two we'll different EPs, and uh, <coughs> both very, very different in terms of approach and and end result, I suppose. Obviously, the, all the elements that make us us are all there, but um, I think we'd like to kind of find a compromise with, between the two, mm -hmm. whereas one's very raw and very, very, well, just completely live, um, no overdubs and no edits and all that sort of stuff. And the, the latest one's a lot more attention to detail and looks more into production values and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, we lost a bit of that. Like, I mean, it is, you know, the, the first EP is very raw. So, I think finding a, a happy medium between the two, where we can get the sounds that we want, but still keep all the energy that we and the rawness and the imperfections of a, a genuine live performance. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're looking to do. But and I think the right producer will get that out. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's one of the things from from kind of listening to your body of work now that it translates very well from recording to live show. Now, a lot of, lot of bands mm -hmm. lose that. You'll see them live and they'll be amazing, but on they get either get overproduced or so. I mean, it's, it's you yeah. Know, you take that into consideration. We, we've, we've always wanted to, with, with, with regards to the recording, to try and get as close as what we you know can to what people see at the show, um, and you know that's why with the skin EP we was like let's do it live because surely that's going to sound like us live. Then, do you know what I mean? And, um, and and it's you know it's pretty close, isn't it? I mean. The only thing that was lacking, which we gained with the Four We Know EP, is the fact that we uh, spent more time with sounds and stuff like that. So the, you know, how big the drums sound and stuff like that, mm. and the clarity of Rich's vocals on top of the mix. There's like a few things like that that actually have made it sound closer to it live, but we've kind of lost the liveness. <laughs> oh, live, 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 live. Uh, no, I don't exactly. you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, just we just. What Rich said, oh, we just need to try and find that compromise, I mean, that split the difference, and get something that sounds as big, but then something that we can have that's as vibey as us being on stage. Have you, from 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 the songs that you've put onto record, and obviously there's a lot of songs that have, have been held back as well. Are they consciously been held back for for the album? Songs uh, like Gold and Silver and yeah, Just Another Man in Need. Yeah, like yeah, I suppose a couple of them have been. Yeah, um, they've been kind of floating around for a while. It's it's trying to find the the right, um, we're still working on arrangements for them really as well. Mm -hmm. Some have been in and out of the set and you know, things have changed. We recently changed stuff like Man and Need quite a lot. I think it's now a lot more us than it ever was. So even though the, sort of, the song was there, um, it's still, it, we couldn't really get rid of it because people, some people wanted to hear it in the set. Mm. Um, but it just didn't really sit right, so we spent a lot of time on it like that, um, arrangement wise. So yeah, uh, the, there's a few songs like that. There's also some new material that's sort of still being worked on at the moment, which isn't on the full no EP. Um, so it'll be an amalgamation of stuff we've already recorded that we've ordered in a different way, um, and then stuff we've never released and the new stuff. So you'll re the, this, the material you revisit, you'll re-record. You um, yeah, I mean, depending what you know, if and which songs we we do decide to put on the album. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a couple like we probably. And maybe put back Sean there or something. I was going to say, I suppose there's a few really that can't just be on the EPs, can they? Because they're, they, they, yeah. they're, they're big, you've got a lot, quite a lot of big tracks, haven't you? So. Well, cool, cheers. Yeah, well, Back to Shore was one of them ones that we, we said, didn't we, when we was on tour, we noticed that like, consistently people knew we were singing along, and, which was kind of a bit weird because we thought it might have been some other ones, but yeah, that, you know, so I think that's definitely like contender for the album. But I think, um, with regards to like previous recordings, just going out and touring, 
they all changed slightly anyway, so I think we definitely have to go and re-record them because you know, just some parts that we might change just from playing them live loads and mm. you know, you sort of change it. They just, I think, yeah, they just evolve a little bit over time, so I think, you know, if, we, if we'd kept the recordings that we've got now, you know, it wouldn't be the same as what we do live now, so it's important to change it. <laughs> So that's kind of where we, we kind of live on the road as much as we can. Um, we had some random bits and pieces, like we, this EP came out yesterday and we had some good news on that. We got in the sort of iTunes rock charts, which was really cool. In, in, um, in Exalted Company, 
Yeah, top ten alongside Mumford and Sons and Soundgarden, Deftones, and the Rolling Stones, and the Rolling Stones, Stones yeah. yeah, with so. their nine hundredth greatest hits album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as if anyone hasn't got them already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty sure I've got forty licks. I think that's got all their hits on yeah. that one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, double disc work. Yeah. So this, I mean, yeah, I mean, we just love the stuff like that's great, just for, uh, because of the fact that we're a small band, really kind of grafting, and we're not really working within an infrastructure that's, you know. There's been minus amounts of money spent on mm. marketing, if you know what I mean. So to, to get a bit of a pat on the back of that is, is obviously great for, for us to think, okay, great, we're, we're doing something. Heading right. in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, in terms of like, you know, uh, that's great, but it's not really a, a highlight, you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, the, some of the shows. Yeah, the, tour, the tour's been great. Yeah, this tour's been the, nice I mean, there was obviously some standout shows during the festival season. Yeah, I mean, we got lots of shots from the Crop Pretty gig where we played to a massive audience. And mm. That was, you know, obviously amazing for us. We got to go out on a big stage and like, wow, look at all these people. But then, you know, the, the flip side of the coin is that when we go out and we go and gig in somewhere like Plymouth for the first time, and 220 people turn up. Mm. You know, so it's you know it's massive different, but, uh, difference, but at the same time, it means loads to us. And you know, we're going out and touring this time to see. You know that more ticket sales and people buying merch and people singing songs. You know they're they're all kind of up there really. With yeah, I think I, I think more but with the tour is more like a highlight for us because that's people going to see us. Mm. Whereas you know people go to Secret Garden party because they hear it's a great party. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So they go there and they know it's going to be a great weekend and they might just happen to stumble into the tent that we're in. Whereas the difference is when we're on tour, people have gone and bought tickets because they want to see that. So mm. I think, in that sense, that's yeah, it must real, be a good feeling, nice feeling to for us. to roll up somewhere that maybe you've you've not really had any affiliation with. I mean, you can look at places like Cornwall; you've got a strong affiliation with there. Yeah. London's where you guys live, so you'd expect. But to go somewhere like Leicester or yeah. you know, Manchester, Liverpool, yeah. places yeah, like Manchester that. was a great gig. We really enjoyed Manchester. Yeah, yeah. We went there for the next day, so we we got hammered. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's cool. It's, it's, it's been great. It's been a great tour. Good. Good. Well, we'll look forward to uh, watching your progress carefully and uh, cool. hooking no, up again at some point. Yeah, you know, this is the interview. I think it's about the fourth time we've tried it, isn't it? So it's nice <laughs> to finally get it done. And who'd have thought we'd do it here? So. Yeah, yeah. Well,